Here we go. All right, in five, four, three, two, one. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Junior Golf Podcast. My name is Ro Thompson. Um, man, it's a, it's, a, it's a pleasure to have everybody um, on tonight. Uh, we have a special guest in the building. Um, we have a young lady out of Georgia that's going to be on our podcast tonight by the name of Vivian Lott. Uh, but before we bring Vivian on, I just want to say, hey, you know, we're winding down the uh, summer season, getting ready to go into the fall. So I want to wish all our juniors um, um, the, the the best of um, uh, the school year. Um, I know practice may be a little limited. It's going to start getting dark a little earlier, but I'm sure they're going to find a way to practice around the house, do some chipping, do some putting, and do whatever it takes to keep the momentum going through the fall and through the winter. So uh, tonight, you know, before I get started, I do want to shout out a couple of groups. Um, we've got some junior golf groups out there um, that's, you know, totally representing, uh, especially out on Facebook. We, you know, I tend to be out on Facebook a lot and we got a lot of junior golf groups and um, they support the podcast. And so I want to give a special shout out to them. So without any further delay, I want to bring up my special guest tonight and let's give it up for Miss Vivian Lott. Hey, Viv. Hello. Thank How's you, it going? Mr. Good, how are you? Oh, you're welcome. I, I've been trying to get with your dad and we've been trying to get this going for a while, but you've been having too many tournaments. <laughs> <laughs> well, good, good. Well, before we get started with um, the questions, um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, thank you, Mr. Rowe. Um, thank you, Junior Golf Podcast, for hosting me. Um, I started golf, ten, uh, I played golf for 10 years. Okay. Um, I live in Fedville, Georgia. Um, I have, I live in Fedville, Georgia. Um, I live in Fedville, Georgia. I. And how, how old are you now, Viv? 11. 11. So you've been playing golf since you was about one? Yes, sir. Wow. So, so how did that, how did that happen? Did you, dad, did your dad have some, some plastic clubs or something? And yes, sir. <laughs> I figured that's what he did. So, so he, he, he knew what he was doing when you were a baby. He, he put those clubs in your hand. And so that's, that's great, Bill. That's great. So when you, when you started playing golf, um, what did you like most about playing golf? Um, I like the competition. I like winning and dominating um, in my sport. Um, I love to boom the golf ball long and straight because that is an advantage of mine. Um, I also love making birdies, eagles, um, I like sometimes I like the challenges of different shots, like in between the trees, punching out, um, finding out ways to get close to the flap so that I like so that I can um, have like the best score. Or um, if like I was in between trees and um, I punch it out, get it close so that I can save my save um, for whatever I need to save at that moment. Um, that's what I love about golf. And I also love um, how many doors it leads open to, like the LPGA, um, AJ, the, um, the US Amateur, those types of things. I love how I can um, explore golf and what levels I can get as I progress in golf. That's really good. That's good, Bill. So, Lavia, what do you feel is your is your your strongest part of your game driving your irons short game putting what do you feel like the, the the strongest part of your game um definitely right now my driver um i feel like that's very strong in my game my irons um they're good especially from like short distance like um, maybe like 100 110 yards out okay. or closer um Still working on my long irons, uh, controlling the distance. I'm sorry, controlling the flight. Yeah, flight. Right. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, controlling the flight. And um, 
Also, I want to say putting. I've done better in lag putts, um, especially for down heels. I, I, get, I feel like I'm getting better in that. Still not strong, strong, but I feel myself progressing and not being too, too bad in it. But um, yeah. That's, that's pretty good. So good. All right. So, so Via, tell us your practice routine. Um, you, you get out to the course, not a, not a tournament, but it's just practice. So you get out to the course, uh, give us, describe to us your practice routine. Well, um, I wake up, um, I work out from seven to eight. Okay. Um, then I take a shower, get ready for school. Then after school around three 30, I get dressed for practice. Good. Um, and so I have a chipping green in my backyard. Um, wow. so I can, I'm virtual school, I'm virtual school, so I can just Beautiful. hop out and um, go outside and start chipping, and I chip in different types of areas, um, uh, so like we have a tree behind, and I like to hit behind the tree, and just practice with the different shots. Make it um, tough on yourself, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, that's right, good. And um, then, uh, depending on our situation, we may not be able to, like, um, Got to the golf course. I have a indoor hitting facility, um, which is called the Vision Center, and uh, we will go out to the Vision Center and practice, or we'll go out to the golf course. And if I didn't have, if something in my swing wasn't right, we'll, we'll go. We can go down and into the. We can go to the Vision Center and, and tweak, fix my swing so that it can be better. And um, depending on the time, since I have a. 10 o'clock bedtime, depending on what time I'm done with all of the my activities. Um, I can go down to the putting green it, downstairs and have a I have a mat with a hole and I practice my putting from about middle to um short distance putts. Great. That's great. So now Viv, when you're when you're playing in tournaments, okay, what do you what do you do to um stay calm? When you're having a, a, a tough round, uh, what do you what do you tell yourself if you make a bad shot and it just seems like things are a little off? What do you what do you try to tell tell yourself when you're playing? Well, um, there's two different things I do because one for playing by myself and then two for playing with my caddy. So when I play by myself, um, I let's say like I made a bogey and I didn't want to make a bogey on the next hole uh, I'll encourage myself like it's okay you have this amount of holes to get it back and um, like you got this we're about to get a birdie or a par whatever um, uh, that's lower than the what I the score I got but um, that's what you're going to get in the next that's what you're about to get in the next hole I just talk myself that way and then when I'm with my caddy um, I may have that hole and he encourages me to speak when I want to see. So if I want to see birdie or eagle, um, speak those things, um, speak those things so that I can, that they can come into existence or in, which also can push me towards getting to what I want. So. um, Now good. I got a question for you. You, uh, you like your caddy? Yes, I do. (laughs) Just check (laughs) <laughs> All right. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get I'm gonna get I have a question or two for your caddy in just a minute. But um to this date, um what 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 has been your favorite win? I mean and do you know approximately how many wins you've had so far? 35 and over about 35. <laughs> That's incredible. So what's so out of the 35 wins that you've had, what's your favorite win so far? The U.S. Kids Georgia State Invitational. Awesome, awesome. And um, what did you remember? What you shot that day? I shot thirty-four, thirty-five for a total of sixty-nine. So that's like three. That's like three under, right? The wow, reason why that... the Go reason ahead. why it's very special is because I've been pushing for it for four years. So yeah. So you've uh, been. You, so that's been your goal to to actually yes, win that. But oh man, that's awesome. And what's your what's your uh, what's your all time low, low nine? Oh, for nine holes is a thirty tip. 
<laughs> okay, that's awesome. That's awesome. All right, that's awesome. Now, and, and do you know when when do you start playing eighteen? Um. Well, right now I'm playing eighteen in U.S. Kids. Okay. So. Good. Okay. Good. 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 So, talk to us a little bit about what's in the bag. What do you What do you keep in your golf bag? Do you have anything? Do you have any good luck stuff? What type of putter? What type of clubs? Do you have anything? Um, I have a, a Odyssey putter. Okay. Um, I don't have like any special clubs, but um, I have like the I have the US Kids set from I have the US Kids uh from my three wood to my lob uh uh lob wedge. Um, okay. and then I have a Cobra driver. Um. And then I play Pro V1X balls, and that's pretty much what's in my bag. You have a you have a lucky ball marker. Um, no sense. Not really. You just, it just, doesn't matter. Huh? <laughs> well, well, I have a favorite one, which is the Masters. So. Oh, the Masters ball marker. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is it is it, is it the magnetic one? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 And so, um, what do you uh, what turn what what's what? How far do you drive the ball? Um, about two fifty. Oh, that is incredible! That's incredible. <laughs> you're only eleven. Oh gosh! By the time you're fourteen, fifteen, you're gonna be driving at three hundred. Yes, sir. <laughs> that is awesome. That's uh, that's awesome. All right, let's get your dad in here real quick. What's up, Rich? Hey, bro. <laughs> man, thank you for uh, letting uh, Viv do the podcast tonight, man. We appreciate you. And so, I got to ask you as a dad, man, how do you? Um, how do you, um, handle, you know, the junior golf, uh, journey, because it's not, it's not, it's not easy. Um, as a dad, as a parent, um, you know, we want our children to do really good. So how did you manage, how do you manage yourself? Cause you, you know, so, sometimes we can get frustrated yeah. if they're not playing good mm -hmm. and we have to stay cool, you know, so how do you manage yourself? Honestly, I don't say just a good support system. Um, prayer and fasting. No, prayer and fasting. <laughs> lots, of, lots of prayer, man, but a good support system. Uh, you know, still, uh, uh, hey, Rich, fortunate. come over yeah, just sorry. a little bit. There you go. Yeah. Um, Vivian is fortunate to have her grandparents uh, support. Um, uh, of course, my wife, she's, uh, she's an LPGA uh, professional, so she's she has a lot of knowledge of how to stay calm and how to stay poised. Uh, in this journey, um, so just a good support system has been very uh, critical for for uh, myself and my wife. I mean, you know, I, I do the bulk of caddying for Vivian and, and teaching Vivian, uh, but it's been an all around support system. So from her grandparents to friends to um, you know uh, fans on Facebook, you know, it's been, it's been, we all had all the community man. You and I, we check on the side, you know, stay encouraged. You know things like that, and uh, you know, of course, with your son as well. So, yeah, I would say just those things, man. Uh, it's been having a community that's been there for you. Hey, Rich, come over a little bit. Come over yeah, a little bit. All right. there, there we go. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, is my volume good too, though? Is that good? Yeah, your volume is good. Sometimes with the whatever. Sometimes if you're on a specific laptop, you got to be yeah. like right in the gotcha. middle of it. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Um. So yeah, just so just the good support system, Rose. What I would say is is help in this journey, because uh, we don't know everything. You know, there's many that have gone before us. And uh, so we're kind of pulling on their, their coattail. You know, hey, give us a little bit of advice, <laughs> uh, you know. So uh, yeah, I, I would just say that's kind of been the, the journey so far. Hey, Rich, you right on it, because the reason that I started the podcast, mm -hmm. because I felt like I needed to know a little bit more about junior golf, yeah. um, what tournaments to play, what tournaments not to play, um, just, um, AJGA stuff, mm -hmm. point. I, it was a lot of stuff that I didn't know. And mm -hmm. um, that's why I started the podcast because I, I just didn't know. So it's uh, helped us tremendously. So, mm -hmm. and we've got a, we've got a really good core group of junior dads that yeah. we pull, that we pull from. So um, yeah, they, you know, anytime, you know, you have any questions for us, man, just let mm -hmm. us know. We got cats like Mark and Gus and, okay. you know, Corey, you, you know, we got a lot yeah. of, junior yeah. dads that we really pull from so that's awesome oh, I'm def definitely definitely gonna uh reach out because uh vivian's definitely at that age now where she's going to be transitioning uh yeah. a whole lot from us kids onto you know the next level hhga or sjgt 
Um, you know, trying to get to that, as she was saying, that her her progress towards her goal of U.S. amateur uh, right. invite. Yeah, that's good. And and Viv, what's your what's your home course? Uh, Sugar Creek. Oh yeah, that's Richard. Richard Degree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> All right, good. And um, what's your what's your favorite course that you played to date? Um, Sugar Creek. Sugar like, Creek's your favorite course? Okay. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, they've done a lot of, uh, and Rich, you can correct me if I'm wrong, they've, they've done a lot of um, enhancements and improvements yeah. to Sugar Creek, haven't they? I mean, uh, yes, I mean, yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, so um, we have a couple of listeners, and what I want to do is open up the podcast to some of our listeners. Um, do any of our listeners um, have any questions for Vivian? Any of our listeners? Okay. All right, and Viv, while we're getting some questions from our listeners, you, uh, when's, your, when's your next tournament again? This week. Um, it's a Pecky Kirka Bell. Yes, that's right. Right. And that's, um, and where's that again? Where's that being hosted? The Chinese golf course. The Chinese golf course? Okay. That, is that in Atlanta? Yeah, upper, upper parts of Atlanta. Okay. Yeah, so it'll be a Saturday Sunday match. Okay, good, good, good. All right. So yeah, yeah, that's that's awesome. All right, you got we got we got Shelly Ward said you got the Vivian Lott Fan Club president present. <laughs> Shelly Ward says, "Hey y'all." All right, and uh, and Viv now, and I was going to ask this, but Shelly wanted me to ask you too. But who's your favorite LPGA player? Um, right now is Nelly Porta. Nellie Corda? It's Corda, right? That's awesome. And I think her dad, see, I came up as a tennis player, so I knew her dad as a tennis player. Well, you know, as a tennis player, now, now his daughter's a golfer. Isn't that something? Wow. That is something. Now, what you what do you like about her game? Um, especially I like how, how long she hits it. Um yes. I like it when um she And, and um, she's so she's so skinny. And hit the ball <laughs> far, don't she? <laughs> Yeah. I um, also like how when she like she like um like gets hot, it's like um the the, the balls go boop boop, and it's like almost like a it's almost like it makes me feel more like let's go let's go um right. especially when she might be like behind or something like that because right. I watch sometimes watch the highlights and um especially I haven't watched the highlight with the sister but um when um she came from behind and won from uh from behind into this place away from her sister i haven't watched that one yet but i right. think that would be an interesting one but um yeah that's what i like about her great but we have a we have another question from our live audience um in terms of a, a tournament that you played in what's what's your favorite course that you played in in an actual tournament um and I know you. I know you played a bunch of courses, but but if you can remember, what's what's been your favorite course so far? What was in Which course was it? Is it Pinehurst? You, you played any Pinehurst courses yet? Yes, sir. I have played Pinehurst, but um, uh, earlier this year I played I played in Arizona. Um, uh, I forgot. Yeah, the Arizona Desert Shootout. I can't remember the course. The course name. Because there's like red. Okay, you remember, you remember the name of it, Viv? No, but I just know there's three different courses. The red, the gold, okay. the blue, I believe. Okay. I think we played the gold, I'm not sure, but um, okay. one of those courses we played on, they were, I really enjoyed it. Okay, but no worries. You're going to play a thousand courses, so it's going to be like a blur. <laughs> 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 so, until you get to like some real famous courses like Augusta National, yeah. you know, you know some of those courses. Now, we got a, I got another question. One, one more, probably one more question for you. Who's your favorite junior player that you look up to? Ah, that's a good. One. Uh, <laughs> um, Ariel. Okay. Yeah. She's okay. My, um, one, she's my buddy and my friend, and then so we can always we can always talk. And then two, I, um, and two, um. She's motivated me, especially when she's won back-to-back -back world championships. And, yes. 
Um, especially motivating me to shoot in the 60s now because um, she shot in the 60s and I want to shoot in the 60s. And 71 right now is my lowest, so still trying to push towards that 60 marker, but uh, we're, we're making, we're getting there. <laughs> Yeah. But, uh, do you take do you, do you take good suggestions from your caddy? Yes, sir. You do? Because <laughs> I have. <laughs> hey, hey, Bill. Somebody told me to ask you that. <laughs> All right. Now you got. Hey, right, hey, Bill. <laughs> hey, Bill. I know sometimes you want to do what you want to do, but sometimes a a, a, a third eye and and a fourth eye can can help you make better decisions. So listen listen to your caddy, okay? Yes, sir. Now, sometimes he might be wrong on the putting green, but you know, yeah. <laughs> for the most You're for right. the most part, he's gonna, you know, they're gonna they're gonna be right. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Now, Corey, Corey said, "What's wingwam? What's wigwam, Corey?" I don't know what wigwam is. Oh, that's, that's the that's the resort in Arizona where uh, where we play at. The desert. Come over a little bit, Rich. Come over a little right. bit. There you go. Yeah, that's the resort in Arizona where she played at for the desert oh, shootout. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So. So you got so you got that Viv wigwam wig, 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 how you say it yeah wi yeah wigwam wigwam so wig okay it might be wigwam <laughs> I'm sure Corey will let me know earlier he's 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 on he's watching live okay so but yeah man so this is this has been great you all and um, Viv I gotta thank you for uh, coming on the podcast um, I'll have this out on all the platforms I have this out on YouTube um, on the Junior Golf Podcast on Facebook on TikTok and Instagram so. Again, thank you for the uh, for being on from the Junior Golf Podcast. We appreciate you being on, and uh, thank you so much. And Rich, thank you, thank your wife for me too, Rich. Yeah. And uh, we appreciate y'all being on tonight. Okay. Thank you so thank much, you. bro. It's been a All right. Good luck thank in the tournament this weekend. Thank you. All right. Have a good one. All right. Okay.